Hi Libra, welcome to your reading for October 2024. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This is Feline Intuition Tarot. So let's see what messages want to come through for you. What are the messages for Libra? You got healing. Divine timing. Text message and spiritual awakening. Okay, you're definitely going through something spiritual. Some of you are doing a lot of emotional healing, spiritual growth. But you have communication coming in. You'll be texting with someone you like. <laughs> what are the messages for Libra for October? You got your intuition is correct and spiritual gifts. Yeah, there's something spiritual going on with Libra. And it's going to be your birthday. Happy birthday to the Libras. Whether you're in September or October, born in September or October, you got vacation me, please. Some of you could be traveling. It could be that you do have some type of spiritual experience. When you travel, I'm seeing like um, waterfalls. You could have some type of spiritual moment to do with a waterfall or some type of water. Okay, water. There's even water in the picture. So it could be some type of cleanse. You go to some type of beach and it feels so... You feel really connected, okay? You got new good news on the horizon. Yeah, you may not be able to explain how you feel on a certain vacation, or I'm even hearing meditation. So even if you're not traveling, there's something spiritual where you won't really know how to express how you feel. What are the messages for Libra? What's going on with Libra? Someone's jealous over you. Yeah, if you're not with someone anymore, they're jealous of you. They're wondering who you're with now. You could still be sad about the situation. You could have happy days and sad days about this person or the relationship. Wow. Okay. They could have been a narcissist for some of you. They don't plan on healing or, or changing themselves. Whoever this is, um, they're a narcissist and they're going to stay that way at least for a while with the Seven of Swords, Star in Reverse, King of Swords in Reverse. They could have been a player. They could have hurt you. This could be why you're having like a spiritual awakening because of what you went through with this person. For some of you, this could be an ex from way back who you are healing from, which would um, kind of trigger that spiritual awakening. So it's something about a relationship with a narcissistic person that is really opening you up spiritually. And they haven't changed. And for some of you, they could even be coming forward to apologize. But keep in mind, the Seven of Swords is there, which is deception and lies. So let's look at your main spread. You have the Nine of Cups. So you have some type of wish fulfillment. Maybe you do um, really wish to go on that vacation. You're going to get to go. Maybe it's for your birthday. What are the messages for Libra? What are the messages for Libra? For October. Messages for Libra. Judgment. Yeah, you're definitely being called towards that spiritual path. You got the Empress as well. You got the King of Pentacles. Somebody could meet someone. 
someone stable or you're already with someone stable there's something about you seeing someone as the king of pentacles so you're seeing someone as being very stable mature you got a relationship going on wow if you if you're not in a relationship you're about to be in a relationship Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, okay, Justice, the Empress, the Lovers as mutual energy, and someone sees you as the Knight of Cups. There's something going on with love here, and it's good, so it's definitely not with that narcissist from the past, though they may be messaging you to apologize only to have another chance to be a liar and a deceiver but there's something about a really good person either in your life or coming into your life hmm. they could be a fellow libra they got justice when it comes to how they feel about you and you got the empress when it comes to how you feel about them both leo not leo <laughs> they could be a leo for some of you both libra cards justice and the empress so you could both be leo's or they could out leo why do i keep saying leo <laughs> they could both be libras you could both be libras or they could have libra in their chart or leo since i keep saying it or taurus or capricorn or gemini why justice? This person could have also went through very unhappy relationships in the past as well. Why the Empress? Some of you could be. Okay, some of you could be or could have been dealing with someone who was married and you were the third party. That could be the past. Or it could be that the person you're dealing with or meet is like going through a divorce. They're ending a marriage or relationship. I feel like you're focusing on your spiritual journey, your healing journey, but this person that you're dealing with or dealt with, there's something about um, them ending a relationship. Why the Knight of Wands? For some of you, okay, this is specific. They could be an athlete or a retired athlete. Or an athlete who's taken um, a pause from their career. Doesn't have to be, of course. But there's something about this person either having a successful career or they're working towards that or a successful business because you are seeing them as... You are seeing them as the King of Pentacles. That's someone successful, stable. So that they, they could have some type of career or they're building career or business that is very respectable in some way, whether it's a man or a woman, whoever this is. Their career is very um, respectable and they're either taking some time off or they're just starting that career or business when they meet you or currently or whatever the case. Why judgment? Yeah, you are, yeah, it's like you're healing from that narcissistic relationship from the past. Like that's your focus. Why the lovers? You could, I guess, I guess it would be that you're both getting out of relationships. You're both healing from relationships, you and this person. 
because you got the lovers as mutual energy so you, it's like you both have um someone from the past in your energies that you're working through yeah and then you meet each other or you've met each other something about you both having like similar situations three of pentacles Okay, either your past situation or their past situation, there's some delusional behavior going on. For some of you, their ex-spouse or ex-partners wanting to get them into therapy or still work on the relationship. Or like I said, your ex, they seem to be coming to apologize to you and they're delusional wanting to work on the relationship, but they're still um, deceptive. So there's something delusional about an ex wanting to come back. Whether it's your ex or their ex. King of Pentacles. Yeah, they could be, um, this person could be very hard working or they have a lot of businesses, could be an entrepreneur. They juggle a lot of things. They could travel a lot. This person's job is 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 a thing in this situation. It's like their their job, what they do for a living, would be how you, how you know who it is. Especially if you haven't met them yet. If you meet someone like this with a job like that, it's, it's them. Like an important job, a respectable job, a job where they travel, or they're an entrepreneur or something. If your ex has a job like that, it could be that you're meeting a new person who also has a job like that. But they're not necessarily, they're not like just like the ex. Especially if you are going through, you know, a lot of healing emotionally, working on yourself. By the Knight of Cups. This person could be... Um, already seeing you online they see a lot of potential in you they want to come towards you whoever this is especially if they're new and they already know who you are there's something about you like really working on yourself where you attract a lot of good things including this person page of swords yeah, you're freeing yourself. There's a lot that there's a lot of work that you're doing that's gonna really free you. It's gonna really free you or allow really good things to come in when you heal from that egotistical, narcissistic person from the past. Okay. What are the messages? Libra. Other messages for Libra. First blush, soft whispers of affection, make love bloom, gentle romance, tender. Yeah, for, for a lot of you, it's new. It's a new, exciting relationship. Perfect moves. Keep the spirit of play and fun alive. To be closer flirty graceful easy messages for libra unlock happiness be vulnerable and open yourself to real love chance free exposed coming around hoping for another chance and wanting to try again regrets reconciling so that's the ex. They're definitely going to be wanting to apologize, but they haven't changed any of their behaviors with that seven of swords that came out. What's coming up for Libra for October? Revenge, settle in the score. Be careful of the ex from the past. It says pay attention to the signs. Rising from the ashes. 
Phoenix. Some of you are even, <laughs> some of you are even gonna become a voodoo priestess, whether you're a man or a woman or voodoo priest, because there's a lot of cause about spiritual awakening and spiritual gifts. Some of you are like, <laughs> you're becoming like a priestess or a priest. Not all of you, but yeah, definitely learning more about spirituality. But with the revenge and pay attention to the, to the signs just know that that narcissistic ex is the same as they always were even when they come back with a nice apology you got healing the collective powerful manifesto magical desire for excitement and spontaneity adventure ten of pentacles existing commitment solid foundation daydreams nine of cups wishing so for some of you with the existing commitment it could be that either this person's married you're married or you're both still married to past people and ending the marriages or relationships there's something about that with you and this person this stable person what are the messages for libra October short term connection worth the wait it's safe to fall reaching out true love free yourself lessons learned overcoming challenge Power couple. They adore you. Teamwork. Yeah, because there's something about this person being very powerful, very successful. And you're freeing yourself from this past person. The past person is going to be reaching out to you, but you feel like you've learned your lesson there. You're freeing yourself because you're taking on this whole new spiritual life. <laughs> where you will not care about that ex going forward there's definitely something about you meeting someone who is very established so yeah this is what i'm seeing for you libra for the month of october could be dealing with an aquarius be a sagittarius libra Leo, <laughs> I'm supposed to say Gemini as a Leo. Gemini could be a Leo, and you got Libra, fellow Libra energy. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.